In this video, I'm going to show you the fastest ways to obtain Ranger armor in Fallout New Vegas. I'll also show you how to build your character so that you can maintain the armor without spending all your hard earned caps to repair it. Keep watching to see it all. What's up everyone, Big Dan here. I make videos about RPGs like Fallout, Mass Effect, and Dragon Age. I explore hidden scenes, rare choices, lore videos, and guides. So if you want to see more RPG content, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Without further ado, let's dive right in. So there are two different kinds of Ranger armor in Fallout New Vegas, Ranger Patrol armor and Ranger Combat armor. The Combat armor is the iconic outfit from the cover of the game, so that is likely the one you're looking to get. There are basically two main ways to get Ranger armor early on in Fallout New Vegas, gaining access to the NCR Ranger safe house, or killing an NCR veteran ranger and looting the armor from their body. Both of these methods involve a little bit of grinding, but it shouldn't take too long if you're focused on the goal. Let's start with the latter option first. You can loot ranger combat armor from NCR veteran rangers. The tricky thing is they won't start spawning into the game until you've completed certain quests. One of these is King's Gambit, where you have to resolve a tense situation between the kings and NCR. The other is part of the main quest line once you've either activated or destroyed House's Securitron army. Once they're in the game, you can find these NPCs at NCR camps and outposts like Camp Golf, Camp Forlorn Hope, Ranger Station Delta, etc. Just be aware that killing rangers will tank your reputation with the NCR. On top of that, NCR veteran rangers can pose a major threat in combat to low-level characters, especially considering that you'll likely be attacked by an entire camp of NCR soldiers in the process. Additionally, if your reputation with the NCR is low enough, then you'll periodically be attacked by Ranger hit squads, which can provide more Ranger armor for you to loot. But if you don't want to kill random NCR soldiers, there is another way. If you build your reputation with the NCR to liked or higher, then you will gain access to the NCR Ranger safe house, which has two free suits of Ranger armor. The most straightforward way to build your reputation is to complete NCR side quests. I recommend heading to Camp McCarran near the New Vegas Strip because there are a ton of quests that you can complete there. On your way there, be sure to stop by Boulder City and resolve the situation between the Great Cons and the NCR. This will give a massive boost to your NCR reputation, assuming you don't help the Cons kill the NCR soldiers. I think the best outcome is to convince Jessup and the Cons to leave peacefully and then convince Lieutenant Moreau to honor the deal and let the Cons walk away. This will boost your reputation with both groups, as well as granting additional XP and karma. Once you've completed enough quests to achieve the liked reputation, head back to Camp McCarran and speak to Colonel James Shu. He's usually hanging out in one of the offices on the first floor concourse. He'll give you a key to the NCR Ranger safe house, which should now show up on your map if you haven't discovered it already. We're all impressed with the work you've done for us. Thought you might be able to make use of this. It's a key to a little hideaway south of here. We've used it as a place for rangers to rest and resupply. I thought you might get good use out of it. Once you've got the key, head over to the safe house and loot the ranger combat armor and or patrol armor from the shelves inside. This armor will be in poor condition, so you won't be able to wear it for long before needing to repair it. One thing you'll quickly discover is that it is extremely expensive to pay vendors to repair your ranger armor. I'd like to repair my armor, please. Sure, happy to help. How much do I owe you? How about all the money you've made in the game so far? Once your armor reaches poor condition, it'll cost you around 15,000 caps to repair it back to 100%. This is simply unsustainable. However, there is a solution if you build your character right. If you invest 90 skill points into repair, then at level 14 you can take the Jury Rigging perk, which allows you to repair weapons and armor with items of the same type. Without this perk, you either need to pay a vendor to repair your armor, or find another identical set of that armor and combine them in the repair menu. This makes it incredibly difficult to maintain rare sets of armor, like the Ranger Combat Armor. But with the Jury Rigging perk, you can repair your Ranger Armor with other common medium armors. So you can take a generic set of Combat Armor or Legion Centurion Armor and use it to repair your Ranger set. I highly recommend taking the Jury Rigging perk if you plan to actually wear this outfit throughout the course of the game. And that's basically it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, enjoy your new Ranger armor. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Fallout and RPG videos. I'm also on Instagram, so go follow me at Big Dan Gaming. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.